Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, let's talk about Yuli on Ice. Yuli on Ice is a Japanese sports anime about figure skating. It was produced by MAPPA, a very young Japanese animation studio founded in 2011. MAPPA is the acronym for Maluyama Animation Produce Project Association. It was founded by Maluyama Masao, the co-founder of Madhouse, a well-known Japanese animation studio which had produced lots of famous anime such as Sakula Wars, Nana, Cut Capta Sakula, Death Note, Hanta Hanta, and Dama no Ace, etc. So based on the experience of the founder of MAPPA, people may foresee the potential of MAPPA as well. As expected, the development of MAPPA goes beyond everyone's expectation. After 11 years of development, MAPPA has produced lots of projects, such as Banana Fish, Kageku Lui, Attack of Titan, the final season, Jujutsu Kaizen, Chainsaw Man, and Hell's Paradise, Jikokulaku. Among these works, there was a work in 2016 which has fully showcased the full capacity of MAPPA. And that is our topic today, Yuli on Ice. Yuli on Ice was aired in year 2016, with a total of 12 episodes. The story is about a 23-year-old Japanese figure skater, Katsuki Yuli decided to put his figure skating career on hold due to his poor results obtained in the Grand Prix final, followed by the Japanese national competition. Yuli had returned to his hometown in Japan, and one day, the footage of Yuli mimicking the skating performance of Viktor Nikiforov was accidentally uploaded to the internet, and this caught Viktor's attention. Viktor then traveled to Yuli's hometown and offered to Yuli that he would become his coach and Yuli should continue with his figure skating career. On the other hand, after notice Victor's decision to serve as Katsuki Yuli's coach, Yuli Pliseski, a rising 15-year-old figure skater, also came to Yuli's hometown and requested Victor to keep his promise with him and serve as his coach too. In order to figure out who should Victor train, a competition was held for two Yuli in Katsuki Yuli's hometown. Victor said the same melody and the same theme of love, but with a contrastive meaning for both of them. One is Agape, and the other one is Eros. At the end, Katsuki Yuli won the competition, Victor became his coach, and Yuli also regained his confidence. While for Yuli Pisesuke, he returned to his hometown. Both Yuli agreed to compete again in the coming Grand Prix final, and after eight months of competition, both Yuli had got into the final and were able to compete with each other. Though Yuli on Ice was a short series, and the story only consists of mainly three characters, this anime achieved good results, not only in Japan, but also in other countries as well. This should be attributed to MAPPA's tremendous efforts spent on Yuli on Ice. First, MAPPA had used an average of 48.5 key animators in each episode. Second, each character was handled by a different key animator in order to differentiate their skating style from another characters. Third, in the skating scenes, sound effects were changed to fit into different venues, such as based on the venue's capacity and crowd size. And lastly, the skating sounds were recorded separately, so that every skating sequence was unique and aligned to the character's performance. Apart from the hardware, the themes covered in Yuli on Ice also helped to attract the audience. This anime covers the theme of epic sports, love, music, and boys' love. All this make up the success of Yuli on Ice. Given to its success, MAPPA announced the production of the movie, Yuli on Ice, Ice Adolescence, in 2018, and it was supposed to be aired in 2019. However, until now in 2022, we still haven't got it. I'm not sure if we still have the chance to watch it at all. However, based on the name Ice Adolescence and the trailer released earlier, I suspect that the movie should be about Victor's past instead of the future timeline of the main story. But let's see. Okay, let's have a recap on the characters. Katsuki Yuli, the protagonist of the enemy. He was a 23-year-old figure skater. Instead of learning ice skating, Yuli learned ballet at a very young age. Then, as recommended by his childhood friend, he learned ice skating afterwards, until at the age of 12, he saw Viktor Nikiforov on the television. Yuli then became a fan of Viktor and aimed to become a great figure skater like him. 
Yuli is an introvert and sensitive to his surroundings. This made him not good in handling stress, especially during the competition. This further leads to his unsatisfactory results and made him having a low self-esteem towards himself. In order to regain his passion towards figure skating, Yuli had me make the skating performance of Viktor Nikiforov, and this was being recorded. Since the footage was accidentally uploaded to the internet, Victor saw the video and came to find Yuli to serve as his coach. Though Yuli has no idea on why Victor came to serve as his coach, it was revealed later that Yuli and Victor had met before while he got drunk. It was Yuli himself who invited Victor to serve as his coach. With the time spending with each other, Yuli and Victor composed Yuli's skating program, Yuli on Ice Together and at the same time, they develop a feeling towards each other. Viktor Nikiforov, an other protagonist of the enemy. He was a 27-year-old talented figure skater. Since his teenager, Viktor had won in numerous national and international competitions. Due to his legendary achievements, besides popular among the general public, he also served as a role model of many figure skaters, including both Yuli. He has a high expectation towards himself. He always wants to surprise his audience with his skating programs. However, after achieving numerous outstanding results, Victor had encountered a bottleneck that he found himself cannot surprise his audience with his performance, since people were get used to his record-breaking performance. After winning his fifth world championship in the Grand Prix final, Victor announced that he would not participate in the coming new round of competition. On the other hand, coincidentally, he watched Yuli's video online. This helped Victor to regain his inspiration, and so Victor decided to put his figure skating career on hold and head him to Japan to serve as Yuli's coach. Yuli Pliseski, a 15-year-old rising star of figure skating. He has the same coach as Victor Nikiforov. However, since Victor forgot his promise about composing a figure skating program for him, he followed Victor to Japan and asked Victor to serve as his coach. Though he had lost to Kazuki Yuli in the competition, this made him understood about his weaknesses and returned to his hometown to receive further training. Unlike his angelic appearance, he was considered as rude and had a short temper. That's all for my sharing today. If you like my sharing, please kindly like and share my video. And if you don't mind, please also subscribe my channel. And I will be seeing you next time. Bye.